Namaste everybody. Welcome back to my session. Today we will be doing Tibetan Yoga. Tibetan Yoga or Tibetan Rites is developed by that is developed by Tibetan monks. This is an ancient an ancient practice is developed developed by the uh, Tibetan monks. It keeps mind and body always active and young. And this in this class we are going to focus on the five rites. I mean five practices, five exercises. That five exercises will uh, help you to uh, have a you know healthy life. Okay. So let's start uh, practice without any further delay. So before going to start the practice, before going to start the five um, exercises or five rites, so I recommend you to do uh, Anuloma Viloma Pranayama. Uh, that Anuloma Viloma Pranayama in the style of uh, you know uh, Tibetan styles. Okay. So first you need to sit in Padmasana position. If you find it difficult to sit in Padmasana, you can sit in Ardha Padmasana. It's fine. Okay. Keep breathing without spine so straight. Now here, take thumb inside, make fist here. Thumb inside, make fist, loose fist, and place it and below your external oblique muscle or closer to your inner thighs. Keep your elbows straight and raise the sternum up. Keeping the elbows straight slightly, lift your sternum up. Keep breathing and breathe out and exhale chin down. Now look friend. Now here, with in here, and you need to start from the uh, base of the spine, in here, from here. And hold the breath and slowly bring your hands down and exhale from the left again inhale from the left hold exhale from the right now got it now inhale from the right hold the breath until take your left hand up to your nose okay and exhale once your fingertips come towards your nose then exhale from the left again in here hold now exhale again in here Exhale from the left. Got it. Again, inhale. Exhale. Now, inhale. And hold the breath and chin down to the core. Exhale. Now this is one method. Now we are going to practice second style, second stage. Just break, place your hands here. Keep your spine so straight. Now in here. Now place your right finger tips on the nose. In here. Hold the breath. Exhale from the right. Again in here. Close your right nostril, open your left nostril, exhale from the left. Inhale from the left again. Exhale from the right. Keep continue two more times. Inhale from the right. Exhale from the left. Inhale from the left again. Exhale 
Exhale from the right. Inhale from the right. Exhale from the left. Inhale from the left again. Hold the breath, bring your hands down. Lift your left hand, close your left nostril, exhale from the right. Inhale from the right. Exhale from the left. Then relax. Relax. Keep your hands in front of your lower abdomen, thumb together, spine so straight, close your eyes. Observe. Observe your breath for a few seconds. Keep your mind and body completely relaxed. Bring your attention back to your breath. Your breath should be normal and deeply without having any tension on your face and nose. With a gentle smile on your face. Open your eyes to front. Let's start practice five rides. In this exercise, in this five exercise, I mean five rides, each exercise you need to do three times. So first exercise is standing. So let's start with the standing rotation clockwise ten times and anti-clockwise ten times. Now here, toes together like that. Do your hands by shoulder level. Now always look front while twisting your body, while turning your body, okay, sit, keep your heels together, when you stand here, heels together, spread your heels, uh, toes wider, bring your hands by shoulder level, look front, inhale, and clockwise 10 times, 1, 2, Three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Relax. Breath should be normal. And here, bring your right foot front, left leg back. You have to stand like this and take Namaskar Mudra and close your eyes and balance. Focus on your body, balance yourself nicely here and feel the giddiness. If you are having and balance here. If you're feeling giddiness more, then you have to reduce the count. Reduce the rotation count. Okay? Close your eyes. And open your eyes to relax. Now here, turn rounds anti-clockwise, opposite. Now here, turn left to right. Left side. Look always front, gauge at any one point in front of you. Three, four, five, six, 
fine. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Now here, take number five and ten. And close your eyes. Balance your body. And feel the vibrations inside the body here. Feel the sensations. Feel the changes. Close your eyes and balance your body here. Keep breathing and breathe out. Become aware of your posture. Then relax. Now one round is finished. The same round you need to do. Same exercise you need to do. Two rounds remaining. Three rounds each exercise. This is the first right. First exercise. Okay. So let's start. Second round. Okay. Now in second round you need to do uh, just five rounds. Like five clockwise and five anti-clockwise. If you feel uh, giddiness. Okay. Just bring your hands by shoulder level. Stand taller. One. Two, three, four, and five. Now take a much calmer breath. Close your eyes. Become aware of your breath. Maintain the both legs so straight. Take a much calmer breath. Close your eyes. And the same method opposite side, anti clockwise. Second round, one, two, three, four. So now, third round, same exercise, okay? Each exercise you need to do three times, okay? And gradually you have to increase, okay? So, again, bring your hands by shoulder level, bring your heels together. Let's start. Right side, one. Two. Three. And five. Then take a Close your eyes. And relax. Your hands open and hands. The same method opposite side. Okay, bring your hands to each other level. Anti-clockwise, third down. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Take Namaskar Mudra, left hand front, left leg front. Take Namaskar Mudra, close your eyes. And bring your hands down, gently open your eyes, shake your foot here. Breath be now. Now, sit in Sukhasana Pusa. Bring your legs front. 
Sit straight, spine straight here. Keep breathing and breathe out. Now here, shift your foot one step front. Shift your sit bone one step front closer to your foot. And slightly lean back. Now here, keep your legs so straight. Bring your hands next to your thighs here. Keep breathing and breathe out. As you inhale, lift your legs up at 90 degree and raise your chin up and chin to the collarbone as you inhale and exhale slowly head back and lift your legs down this is exercise second you need to do three rounds here each round 10 steps i mean 10 movements okay inhale legs so straight 90 degree head up exhale Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five, inhale, exhale, six, inhale, Inhale, exhale, seven, inhale, exhale, eight, inhale, exhale, nine, inhale, exhale, Last one. Inhale. Exhale. And relax. Focus on your abdomen area. Breath should be normal. Keep breathing and breathe out. Focus your mind on your breath. This is Tibetan right second and in this second round okay for 10 times if you feel uncomfortable if you can't able to uh, raise your legs uh, at that time 90 degree along with the head uh, 10 times you can reduce the counts also you can do it five times initially if you are beginners you can start with the five rounds only that's it five movements okay so let's start inhale one Exhale. Two. Inhale. Three. Inhale. And exhale. Legs down and head is down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Inhale. Six, inhale. Seven, inhale. Eight, inhale. Nine, inhale. Ten, inhale. 10. Breath be normal, focus on your abdomen, keep breathing and breathe out. This pose, I mean this six second right will help you to strengthen your abdomen organs. Strengthen your abdomen organs and also strengthen your sexual organs here. Keep breathing and breathe out. Third round, 10 times. If you feel uncomfortable, you can do it only just 5 counts only, 5 moments. Five breath, okay? Yes, let's start. Inhale. Exhale. One. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. 
four inhale exhale five inhale exhale six inhale exhale seven inhale exhale eight inhale exhale nine inhale exhale ten inhale Exhale, then relax. Just relax your body completely. Keep breathing, breathe out. Relax your neck, relax your thighs, relax your abdomen muscles. Feel the sensations in your pelvic region, in your lower back, in your abdomen regions. Keep breathing and breathe out. This exercise will strengthen your back muscles as well. Keep breathing and breathe out. Inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale deeply into the abdomen. Your abdomen like a balloon and exhale completely and abdomen down towards your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale slowly come up. And exhale, relax. So next we are going to practice complementary posture uh, of right to Tibetan right to. Now we are going to practice complementary posture that is called Tibetan uh, right three. You can say it exercise third one. So you need to stand here, stand on your knees. Keep breathing and breathe out. This is called the uh, Ustrasana pose, but we are not going to do. Purna Ustrasana, I mean uh, uh, here is, this one is a, a Tibetan style of Ustrasana. Just you need to place your hands on your hamstring muscles. If you find it difficult to place your hands, place your palms on your hamstring, maybe you have uh, palms on your glutes muscles also, it's fine. Okay, place it, try to place your palms on your hamstrings here. Now chin down. Inhale, go back. Slowly bend back, head back. Exhale. Chin to the collarbone. Hunch back here. Okay. Don't arch back like this. You need to hunch back. Suck your belly inside. Raise the sternum up and keep breathing in with out. And chin to the collarbone. Inhale back. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, and exhale, five, inhale, and exhale, six, inhale, and exhale, Seven, inhale and exhale. Eight, inhale and exhale. Nine, inhale and exhale. Ten, last one, inhale and exhale. And sit in Vajrasana position. This is the complementary posture. Now, in this uh, method, uh, we need to do two rounds remaining. So when you bend back, when you bend back in the position, you need to focus on your lower part of your abdomen. So feel the stretch. That will help you to strengthen your back muscles and also give great massage on your abdomen and your organs. Keep breathing and breathe out. Breath should be normal. This is third exercise, I mean third uh, Tibetan right. Now we are going to practice same uh, practice uh, 
the second one. So again, stand on your knee, bring your uh, toes together. If you feel uncomfortable, you can tuck your toes out. So that's also fine here. And place your hands on your hamstring muscles, chin to the collarbone. Suck your belly inside and pull your abdomen, pull your navel against the spine as you're standing like this position. As we inhale, go back, exhale. Then slowly bend, come back to the center with exhalation. Second bar, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Four, inhale. Exhale. Five, inhale. Six, inhale. Seven, inhale. Eight, inhale. Chin to the cover one. As you come back into our original position. Last one, inhale. Exhale, chin to the collarbone, suck it with the inside, raising the chest up, relax your shoulders down. Then, sit in the rasana position. Keep breath in and out, breath should be normal. The same right, again we need to do last one more round. So, if you feel tired, then you can take uh, five more seconds rest in this position. Breath should be normal. Raise your hands upon your thighs, raising the sternum. Keep your spine so straight along with your neck and head. Keep breathing and breathe out. Feel the sensations in your spine. Feel the sensations in your lower part of the abdomen. Keep breathing and breathe out. So when you exhale, bend back as much as you can, but you need to balance. When you bend back, hold it at least for 2-3 two, two, seconds or 5 seconds. When you hold the posture longer time, that will, that will help you to um, so build your sexual organs and also reduce the tension in the lumbar area. So let's start. Inhale, slowly come back to the center and place your hands on your hamstring muscle. Chin to the collarbone, raising the sternum. Inhale. Bend back. Exhale. Chin to the collar. One. Second one. Inhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to the original position. Four. Inhale. Five, inhale. Six, inhale. Seven, inhale. Eight, inhale. Over it. Nine, inhale. Ten, inhale. And relax. And sit in Vajrasana position. And place your hands upon your thighs. Raise the sternum up. Gently close your eyes. Become aware of your breath. Breath be normal and deeply. Focus on your breath for a while. Feel the changes in the body. Feel the sensations in your spine, in your abdomen region. Now sit comfortably and easily here. So now we are going to practice 
on fourth one, fourth right, fourth exercise, that is uh, reverse tabletop position. So you need to come front here, separate the foot hip with the distance apart, or shoulder with the distance apart, and close it here, uh, closer to your sit bone. Your hip should be closer to your sit bone, and bring your hands back. Make sure that your fingers pointing towards your heels. Now, if you are ready, as you're ready, inhale, lift your pelvic up, lift as much as you can, and draw your head back. Exhale. If you have a problem in the shoulders, I recommend you to go slowly. If you are really having frozen shoulder or uh, major shoulders problem, then you can stop the practice here. This one you need no need to do that. Okay. So now here, inhale. Exhale. Three, inhale. Exhale. Inhale as you lift your body as you pelvic up as you inhale lift your body and tighten your glutes muscles Why when you're lifting your body with tightening your glutes muscles to reduce the fat on your glutes and also It's keep your spine become safer zone. Otherwise you will get hurt on your lower back So you need to lift and with tightening your glutes muscles in here Lift your body up tighten your glutes muscles and head back Keep breathing and breathe out. This pose will help you to strengthen your lower back muscles, strengthen your thighs, strengthen your glutes muscles. And exhale down. Inhale up, tighten your glutes. And exhale down and release the tightness. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more rounds here. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down and relax. Breath should be normal and bring your hands front here. Relax. This is called complementary posture for forward bending. Okay, for, for backward. This is a complementary posture for backward here. Keep breathing and breathe out. Bring your hands front. Breath should be normal. Let's start two rounds in the same exercise. Okay, same movement, same uh, method you need to do. Remaining two rounds. So just do it only five, five rounds here. Okay, make it a little faster now. In here. Try to glutes and head back. Exhale down. One. Inhale up. Two. Three. Four. And five. And relax. And slowly bend forward. Feel the changes. Feel the sensations on your lower back. Keep breathing and breathe out. Focus on your glutes muscles. Feel the sensations on your glutes also. Keep breathing and breathe out. That should be normal. Let's start. Third round. Five times here. Inhale. Lift your pelvic, tighten your glutes muscles. Draw your head back. One, two. Inhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale down. Four. Inhale. Exhale down. Five. Inhale. Exhale down. Then the legs bend forward. Feel the changes on your lower back. Keep breathing and breathe out. This exercise is really great gift for you to strengthen your lower back muscles. If somebody is having lower back problems, this pose is really good for them. Just go down, keep breathing and breathe out. Now, come back into down, facing down. Press the sternum down. Now here, if you have a problems in the back, uh, if you have a problems in the lumbar area, or if you have a problems in the tailbone region, I recommend you to rock the knees first and slowly inhale, raise the sternum, exhale, come back into downward facing dog. Be careful. And if you are okay, then you can go directly here. Option one, first drop the knees, inhale, cobra. Very slowly. If you have a problems in the back, again, I recommend you to come a little down, fold your elbows and head it down like this. And exhale, come back into down facing down. Okay? And if you are healthy, then go down like this in here. <laughs> exhale. One, two, like that. Okay? Or option one, keep remember the technique. One, and down facing. Two, down facing, 
three, down facing, four, down facing, five, down facing, and sit in Vajrasana position. This is for beginners. Beginners can drop the knees and raise the stand. Come to down facing itself. Okay. And multi level, we'll do it in the second round. Let's start second round five times here. Come down facing. One, two, three, four, and five. Then drop the knees and sit in with the rasana position. Keep breathing in and out. Breath should be normal. Now last one round, downward facing movement, cobra, inhale, exhale, downward facing. Let's start only five movements here. Five breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Then slowly sit into the Sukhasana position. Keep breathing and breathe out. Spine so straight. Lengthen your spine. Now take chill mudra upon your thighs. Raise the sternum up. Gently close your eyes. Become aware of your breath. Breath should be normal and deeply. With a smile on your face, take a deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Take another deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Now join your palms together, start rubbing your palms forcefully. Cup your eyes. Bring your hands down, gently open your eyes, look into palms. Thank you all. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. So keep in your mind importance of health and fitness. So I hope you are doing great. So keep practice daily. Don't miss it. Okay. Thank you all again. Have a great day. Stay happy and stay safe.